they're supposed to be protecting my kids, but they just proved that they can't. Like, let my kid die, and, like, they, they don't have no explanation, no, no nothing for it. The parents of a baby who died in foster care spoke out about their experience with Athens County Children's Services. I'm Logan Dawson's mom. I'm Logan Dawson's dad. The baby Logan Dollison was born at home in Gloucester on December 19th. I didn't even know I was pregnant with him. We went to the hospital. We got there by squad. Everything was fine with Logan. They ran all kinds of tests, made sure everything was fine with both of us. And then the next day, CPS came in and took him. Logan's parents, William Dollison and Lindsay Householder, have kids in foster care, but nothing could prepare them for what was going to happen to their baby son. The baby was unexpected, but he was wanted and loved. The couple went to supervised and doctor visits, but on January 6th, their visit was canceled after the baby didn't eat two bottles. She just had him at the doctor on Wednesday for a weight check, and he was perfectly fine. They didn't notice anything was wrong with him whatsoever. Suddenly, Logan's health declined and he was taken to Columbus and put into an ICU at Nationwide Children's Hospital. Trapped under a snow emergency, Lindsay texted with the foster mom. And then at midnight, she finally texts me back and says that his heart had stopped and they couldn't get it back. We did not get to identify, identify him. Logan. We did not get to see him or nothing until the day before his funeral. Athens County Children's Services said in a statement that they take a situation where there's a child fatality seriously and they wouldn't notify over text, although they can't speak for the foster parent, and that should never have happened. If it was me, I'd be behind bars right now until I could prove my innocence. I'd be behind bars. It wouldn't matter what it is. I'd be behind bars because if he was in our custody, that's how it would have been. I'm local for you in Columbus, Cynthia Rossi on NBC4i.com.